Hi, I'm Dan Miller, Senior Editor with Progressive Farmer Magazine. One of the great things about living in the country is that you're surrounded by nature, and you can do a lot of things with that nature. One of the things you can do is landscape with it. It's free, but it takes a bit of planning. We shot a video of a project we did down in Texas. We hope you take a minute to look at it. We hope you enjoy it, and if you have any questions, let us know. Hi, I'm Dan Miller, Senior Editor with the Progressive Farmer Magazine. Over the last few months, we've done a very special project, and that is we've restored a small piece of Texas Hill Country. Less than a year ago, this was a construction site, but with help from experts and a little bit of time, we've returned this piece of land to its natural state. This is what the ground looked like in the beginning. The grass was beat down. There were no native flowers. You could have mowed it off, planted some water-thirsty plants, or even put in grass, but we decided to go another way. Well, it's fall now, and you can see all the grasses have turned brown. There is no flowers, but you can see how much this has grown up over the last few months. Let me show you how this all got started. I'm going to guess you're a lot like me. Your best day is a day you don't have to cut the grass. Well, out here, a lawn wasn't even appropriate. It's just too dry. So we tried something else. We call it landscaping with nature. Basically, what we did is keep the construction traffic off, and then we let this area regenerate itself, and we're kind of letting nature do what it's going to do here. So instead of digging up this ground, we left the native grasses, flowers, and the trees in place. What we have here is an acre in front of the home that requires no watering, no fertilizing, no pest control, and only one mowing a year. For space in front of the home, it looks different. There's no doubt about that. But we're convinced this area is vital in helping the home blend into this part of the Texas Hill Country. We've identified 40 different kinds of grasses and flowers like this prairie verbena. There's a lot going on here, but there's a couple things I want to show you. First are these grates. What we did is put the grates down over plants that we wanted to keep. These keep the deer off the plant. The deer don't like to step on the grates, and so far they're working pretty well. The other thing I wanted to show you is something called a nurse plant, and that's what the cedar acts as here. The deer don't like to poke in and around this plant. So what happens is you get more desirable plants like this one. This is called an eaves necklace. It's able to take hold and grow, and the deer won't eat it. We did one more project out here. This whole area looked like this bare dirt here. And what we did was replant in here flowers and grasses native to Texas Hill Country. And then we put a fence around it to keep the deer out. And then we just let nature take over. And you can see the results are pretty spectacular. Okay, that's the project. Let me go over one more time what we did. This property was a construction site for 10 months. But on one acre, we did these things. We replanted and reseeded native stock. We protected especially valuable plants. We left in place as many trees as possible. This is also a great place for deer and other native wildlife. We hope you're inspired by what we've done here. Yes, this is a different look, but we wanted to bring the Texas Hill Country right up to our front door, and we think this is a wise use of our land. You can find help in doing a project like this anywhere. Experts known as master naturalists offer help on projects protecting and restoring native habitat. There are also the local offices of the Extension Service and the Natural Resources Conservation Service.